got to do some waffling and then he'll compose it all together as one. <laughs> That's me. Well, every time I do media work, a journalist will say to me, can you tell us which is the project you're most proud of? And I always tell them the next one. This time I'm not sure. This is Theory One, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to our vision of the future of performance vehicles. With Theory One, we're bringing into effect a new design theory based around three core tenets of digital, natural, and analog. And these core ideas run through everything that it shapes this car. We have the car divided into three clear elements that reflect this design theory. The upper area of the car, this seamless, fluid, glazed shape, contains all of the intelligent features, digital capability and safety systems for the future of driving. Through the centre of the car, we have a wonderfully sculpted, more natural element to the body, which draws on our rich heritage of producing impactful design and beautiful automobiles. The lower area of the car is a celebration of analogue engineering excellence we have here. Exposed structure, aerodynamic aids, and completely visible on show for all to see, suspension and drivetrain systems of the car. The story of the lower of the car is really about how we've minimised the structure back to its absolute core. All of the other surfacing we've added is there to control the airflow around the front of the vehicle and off out towards the rear. And even we're exposing some of the elements of the dynamic systems and capability of the car. We have here this wing and all of the surfacing here, both structural and aerodynamic, is actually an exposed carbon fibre. This is a chopped recycled variant, which is a much more sustainable material. We even go to the depths of having this transparent area above the headlamp and through here you can see the aerodynamically shaped suspension on show. We're really celebrating that analogue side of the Lotus performance DNA and making it part of the design narrative of this car. The overall design intention with this car is to create a pure and modern statement. The car is defined by a graphical simplicity which is recognisable from a distance. Another unique feature of this car is what we're calling the Lotus Wear technology line. This is actually a reinterpretation of the functional split line that ran around the S1 Esprit. In that case, it was joining two panels together, but for this car and for the future, we're actually zoning all of the technology we need in terms of digital capability, end-to-end -end driving, and indeed an expression of external UI UX. So in this feature line, we have rear view camera systems that deploy, LiDAR embedded cameras and sensors, and then this really, really cool OLED feature which allows the car to talk to you as the owner and indeed other road users and pedestrians. Coming back to the rear of the car, that technology line runs through with the laser lighting, the LiDAR systems, and everything else we need to interact with the car. Mounted above that, we have an active rear wing a system controlled by the intelligence in the vehicle, which amplifies the effect of the more passive and analog elements beneath. For this car, we've also developed a unique door system. The idea here is to solve the entry egress problem that you commonly have with high performance vehicles. So what this door system does is create a large usable aperture with the entire door moving towards the rear of the vehicle, which really helps you to access what we have on this car, which is very special, a central driving position. Because the door opens right away into the roof and half of the sill structure moves away with the door, I can actually stand inside the footprint of the vehicle behind the rear tyre. This allows me to just step down into the car. I sit on the surface in front of the passenger seat, slide across into the driving position. We've got steer-by-wire, drive-by-wire, and that means the controls automatically move to me. The concept of the Lotus Wear technology line is also mirrored inside the car. So we have everything from intuitive lighting that communicates with you through onto a really great distribution of the digital content that wraps around me when I'm in the driving position, but also the ability to talk to and interact with the three passengers. So we have a small screen on the steering wheel, proper haptic touch points and real switches to allow us to properly engage with drive. And all of the, the digital systems are projecting and displaying content where it's perfect for my eye line, allowing me to really focus on driving the car. It's very much about eyes on the road and hands on the wheel. Some key elements are this soft robotic textile we have here, which allows the seats to grip you more or indeed talk to you and provide some element of UI UX. 
right the way through to amazing 3D printed headrests. This is a completely soft element here that houses the sound system for the car, which provides binaural audio and provides enough comfort for me to really be able to relax in the space if that's what I'm trying to do. When the drive is over, the controls will track away and I can just simply slide back across the vehicle and I'm able to step right away out because there's absolutely nothing over the top of my head. On the one hand, this is a celebration of technical concepts and performance engineering left exposed for all to see. On the other, it demonstrates the integration of digital technology, connectivity and our intelligent driving capabilities. So whilst bringing together the analog and the digital worlds, it's still a piece of striking design, automotive beauty, and is an experience shaped very much around the human. This is what a Lotus always should be. The really exciting thing though, will be to show you how this influences what comes next.